Okay, hello everybody. I'm gonna teach you today how to solve for the integral of the square root of tangent x dx and we're going to start right now. So what's going on? My name is Muhammad. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to know more about brain teasers, riddles, logic puzzles, viral math problems, and all type of mathematics related stuff, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, now to solve for this integral, I will start by so solution. I will start okay by uh, letting by letting uh, the square root of tangent x equals u, and then I will square both sides. That's gonna give us uh, tan x is going to be equal to two u squared, and then I will differentiate both sides. So that's gonna give us secant squared x dx. That's that's going to be equal to two u du and then if we want to get uh, if we want to get rid of the secant squared x then we can substitute uh, one, uh, tan squared x plus 1 dx that's going to equal 2u du and then tan squared x is going to be equal to u4 so 2u to the power 4 plus 1 dx is going to be equal to 2u du and then here we can solve also for dx. dx is going to be equal to 2u divided by u squared. So dx is going to be equal to 2u over u to the power 4 plus 1 du. Okay, so now we can uh, we can uh, substitute back okay the value of dx here in the in the in the first integration. Okay, instead of dx and the tangent, the square root of tangent x is going to be equal to u. So the original integration, and I will call it i. So i is going to be equal to uh, the square root of tan x dx. Okay. So if I substitute back, okay, the values, okay, that I have, uh, okay. So this is going to be equal to uh, the square root of tangent x, that's u, and dx is going to be equal to uh, 2 u over u to the power 4 plus 1. So 2 u over u to the power 4 plus 1 du. And this is going to be equal to 2 u squared over u to the power 4 plus 1. Now this can be, uh, now this looks easier, okay, because here, uh, I will start here by, sub, uh, by by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by u squared, okay, in, a, in an attempt, okay, to make the, do, the numerator, okay, the derivative of the uh, denominator, okay, so I will uh, divide by u squared, so that's going to give us 2, okay, and here u squared plus 1 over u squared, du. Now, uh, this is, okay, uh, this is of order 2 here. Uh, this is a constant okay so i will try to make the numerator okay the derivative of the denominator but to do that okay i will uh i will simplify this i will try to uh, to to complete the square here or and uh, to express it in a different way so uh here notice that the denominator the denominator can be expressed in two different ways okay so to uh, explain this okay u squared plus 1 over u squared can be evaluated or can be can be evaluated as u plus 1 over u that's all squared so that's gonna give us u squared plus 1 over u squared plus 2 u times 1 over u that's gonna give us 2 so uh, to make this equal to this we have to subtract minus 2 here okay and then if we differentiate this okay if we differentiate d by du of uh, u plus 1 over u okay so to have because i'm trying okay to make the numerator the derivative of the denominator so i will uh, calculate its derivative uh, its derivative is going to equal to 1 minus uh, 1 over u squared okay and also this also can be expressed in a different way as well so or 
uh, u squared plus 1 over u squared can be expressed as u minus 1 over u uh, squared and if we calculate this this is going to be equal to u squared plus 1 over u squared minus 2 u times 1 over u so that's going to give us uh, minus 2 so to make this equal to this we have to uh, add 2 okay so that's plus 2 okay and then let's differentiate that so that's going to give us uh, u minus 1 over u the derivative of that is going to equal to 1 uh, plus 1 over u squared now we have to notice also one more thing if we add these two terms here uh, 1 minus 1 over u squared and plus 1 over u squared that's going to cancel out so we're going to be left out with 1 plus 1 that's going to give us 2 and we can substitute it back here and in, 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 instead of 2 here okay so I will do this okay so also 1 minus 1 over u squared plus 1 plus 1 over u squared that's going to give us 2 and that we can replace okay the numerator here which is 2 by these two terms here so I will do that okay okay so now the integral okay the original integral becomes okay uh, instead of 2 I will put 1 minus 1 over u squared plus 1 plus 1 over u squared and all of that's going to be divided by u squared plus on the same denominator or oh, divided by 1 u squared okay du and then I will try to separate these this and this whole integral into two separate integrals okay uh, so this is going to be equal to 1 minus 1 over u squared over u squared plus 1 over u squared du that's the first integral and the second integral is going to equal to 1 plus 1 over u squared over u squared plus 1 over u squared du but as we did before the denominator here okay uh, u squared plus 1 over u squared can be expressed as uh, can uh, can be expressed in either one of these two ways here okay so whenever we have uh, 1 minus 1 over u squared as we as we have in the first integral here we can express uh, the uh, denominator using this expression here u plus 1 uh, over u squared minus 2 so I will do that with the first integration so this is going to be equal to uh, 1 minus 1 over u squared over u plus 1 over u all squared minus 2 because the derivative of this is going to be equal to 1 minus 1 over u squared and that's there so we can proceed forward with the u substitution and for the second integral okay this is going to, e to be equal to uh, 1 plus 1 over u squared and for the denominator we can we can express the denominator here using the second expression okay this one here u minus 1 over u squared because its derivative is 1 plus 1 over u squared and that's the denominator here okay so I will do that so uh, u squared plus 1 over u squared is going to be equal to uh, u minus 1 over u all squared plus 2 okay now to evaluate for these two integrals now they look very easy here okay because these looks like uh, very famous integrals and uh, just to save time I will give you the uh, formula for that okay uh, but of course okay we can solve this using uh, either partial fractions or we can use uh, uh, tr trigonometric substitutions okay by the tan using tangent hyperbolic uh, here and here we can use also trigonometric substitutions using tan inverse uh, but to save time I will give you the uh, the final formulas so uh, the first integral here looks like this integral here so remember that the integration of dx over x squared minus a squared Uh, the integration so remember that the integration of uh, dx over x squared minus a squared is going to be equal to minus 1 over a uh, tan tangent hyperbolic inverse of x divided by a plus c 
And for the second integral here, we can use also this formula. It looks like this integral here, dx over x squared plus a squared, and that's going to equal to uh, 1 over a tangent inverse of x over a plus c. And of course, the first integral here, okay, can be, uh, I will, this, the first integral also can be evaluated using, as I said, uh, partial fraction. So I will put, uh, put an alternative uh, expression for that. So this is also going to be equal to 1 over 2a len the absolute value of x minus a over x plus a plus c. Now comparing these with the, with these integral, comparing for example uh, this integral with this integral, so a is going to be equal to the square root of 2, okay? And, comp and also here a is going to be equal to the square root of 2. So the final uh, integration, so i is going to be equal to minus 1 over a, that's minus 1 over the square root of 2 tangent hyperbolic inverse of uh, u u plus 1 over u that's x u plus 1 over u and that's all going to be divided by a which is the square root of 2 and the second integral plus 1 over the square root of 2 tangent inverse of x which is u minus 1 over u yes u minus 1 over u okay divided by a which is the square root of 2 and plus c and then if we substitute back okay the value of u which is tangent x the square root of tangent x and 1 over u is going to be equal to the square root of cotangent x okay then we're going to to get the final result so this is going to be equal to uh, minus 1 over the square root of 2 uh, tangent hyperbolic inverse of the square root of tan tangent x plus the square root of cotangent x all divided by I'm sorry all divided by the square root of 2 and the second part the second final part is going to be equal to plus 1 over the square root of 2 uh, tan inverse the same thing uh, and no not the same thing uh, tan tangent x minus the square root of cotangent x divided by the square root of 2 plus c and that's the final result well thank you for watching if you liked okay this video please remember to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything in the future if you have another way to solve for this integral an easier way then leave it down here in the comments below to help other people that might watch this video well thank you for watching and see you in another video